Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Parlay Revival. Um, last week we started the episode with a little bit of comedy, asking the audience what they thought the relationship was between the size of one's testicles and their ability to withstand a whole bunch of fiberglass dust. We got some hilarious comments. I said I'd give the, uh, the best comment two t-shirts. Um, and the best comment is from Bill Allen. He wrote, the angle of the dangle is inversely proportional to the heat of the meat, provided that the maxis of the axis and the gravity of the ca cavity remain constant. That is hilarious. We got so many likes, so many comments. Um, so Bill, I'll send you two t-shirts. We're just in the city right now doing a, uh, a provisions run and getting some materials. Check out this view. Thanks for letting us stay here, Leo. But uh, let's roll the intro. Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? This is our brand new dinghy from Highfield. I loaded it up in Fort Lauderdale and I put 900 pounds worth of stuff in here. So there's resin, fiberglass, paint brushes, everything. Oh, so yeah, this here. thing weighs a ton. Mm -hmm. okay. Look what we got. Air conditioning unit. It's just a uh, window unit. Just taped it off. Very professional looking. So we are about to do some glass work down in the hulls and it's just so hot and humid here in Panama. It'll just make our life really difficult trying to um, trying to get the glass laid up there before it kicks off. I'm really happy with it. We've only had it running for like half an hour and it's pumping out some seriously cold air. Plus the amount of moisture that's coming out of the air inside the boat here is incredible. So um, pretty happy with that little upgrade. And uh, we'll run it overnight, I think. We're not paying for power here. It's all included. So just going to run that bad boy 24 hours a day. Dogs are loving it. That's Sylvia. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jamie, please help me. Why? Well, oh. So the first day Sylvia was here, <laughs> She nearly lost the dinghy. <laughs> she didn't lock it. And then before that, she actually drained 175 litres of water out of one, <laughs> out of one tank. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Sylvia and I'm a new member of Parley Crew. Uh, I'm so excited to sail around the world and enjoy adventure with Colin and Jamie. I came here to live closer to the sea, the nature, and I, I think I was so lucky to meet these guys uh, because maybe my, my dream might <laughs> come true. Nice. I don't know. I hope. I think it's a really cool story that she's got because she had a really good job in Italy and everything like that and decided to leave and she just came to Panama. She had a job offer here on a boat and she just went out and did it and her friends and family thought she was crazy but she just believed that she had to go out there and do it and I think from what she's told me she's so happy that she made that decision. So. It's inspiring. Anyone who's at home wanting to go out and do something like this, all it takes is for you to just do it and commit to it, book the flight and go. And that's what Sylvia did. So really excited for her to come sailing with us. Um, what else? Are you embarrassed? Say a lot. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> she's embarrassed. I think you guys all understand what she's trying to say. We're going to make her not be shy anymore. Watch. Here he is, the fucking hero. <laughs> 50 kilos up the ladder, he reckon. <laughs> Come on, they're not that heavy. 
So we just had a fresh delivery, thousand dollars worth of stuff. This is 600 gram Biax glass. Got two 50 meter rolls of the stuff, and we're probably gonna have to buy one more. These weigh 50 kilos each, so right here there's 100 kilos of glass. Plus the next one we're getting, it's 150 kilos of glass, not including the resin. So I've also got uh, 40 liters of. West Systems Epoxy, a um, bunch of fiberglass, and then we've got uh, nine sheets of um, marine plywood. Three of them are for the neighbor. So I've got five sheets, I already gave half a sheet away, so I've got four and a half sheets of marine ply. Hopefully that's enough to do our bulkheads. So those are the new bulkheads on Parlay. So we've got the distance between the keels perfect now. It's actually five millimeters too, too close together, which is exactly what we want. Um, but we just got to check that the boat's not sort of wrapped over to one side so we can easily check the center line of the boat and then we're going to check the distance from the keel to the center line should be exactly the same each side so from the outside of the keel that measurement is going to be 2.7 meters exactly from the outside of the keel to the center line of the boat so we'll just check that real quick right now we've got a homemade plumb bob and uh <laughs> right equipment for the got. job so we're about to um Cut the plywood, the new bulkhead. So this is quite a big moment for us. Um, as you can see, it's all prepped. So we've got a nice, clean ground surface here to put in all our new bulkheads and stringers. So we're gonna make a cardboard template of the curvature of the hull. Original up here was one 15 millimeter layer of ply. We're going with three, well, two 18 millimeter layers of ply on top of the existing stuff. But down here will be three layers of 18 millimeter plywood with two layers of epoxy on either side of it um, all glued and filleted with epoxy it's gonna be so strong so this will not become um, cause I see any more problem in the future I'm gonna be so confident with this this is the primary bulkhead of the boat this bulkhead here stops the boat from bending and breaking so when this failed it put all of the stress onto our engine room bulkhead and then that one cracked and then once those were cracked then all of the other sections of the hull collapsed and um, we had a huge gap under the under between the uh, hull and the the deck of the boat and the boat was bent like a banana 40 millimeters of deflection from point from from side to side like you've seen the footage it was bad so if we reinforce this then that'll take the stress off the engine room bulkhead and then that'll take the stress off the salon door bulkhead so it's all related back to this point right here the more i look into it and the more i speak to other boat owners of the 450 the less inclined i am to believe that the hurricane had the most impact on what happened on on this boat it had an impact but I don't think it was the main cause of this failure. And I might go into that more in the future. <sighs> oh, is... Okay guys, we've got a pretty good template happening here. It's following the hull quite nicely. So now we're just gonna put a pen on a block and uh, scribe the curvature of the hull so that this becomes a perfect template. Beautiful. Okay, that's it. Okay, just hold it there. On that. Looks roughly. Yeah, I can do that here too. I'm gonna to go longer than that. Alright, there we go, we got port and starboard side bulkheads. Now we're gonna cut them out.
Here we go, that's the first cut. Obviously we've left it a little bit long here and a little bit long there and a little bit wide here so we've got room to play with for this exact reason. We've got a little bit of a gap here and a little bit of a gap here. So I'm just going to mark it up, we'll cut it one more time and then it'll be done. Measure once, cut twice. <laughs> the new motto. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Look, oh, dead set. Fucking rip out of this. <laughs> so the new pieces fit beautifully. Go. Okay. That's where the new bulkhead's gonna sit. So now we're just gonna make a template because the sandwich structure, the outer layers of ply, are gonna go all the way up. So we just need to take a template of this angle coming through here. We can use. The, our, our new bulkhead for the template for that half, but for here we're just going to use cardboard. Uh, get the angle there, and uh, and then cut these pieces. There we go guys, those are the new bulkheads. So well those are actually the bulkheads and two of those each side of the bulkhead to strengthen the whole damn thing up. So what we're going to do now is we are going to just seal the edges here which are going to go up against the hull of the boat. Um, those are the only parts of these that we can't seal in place. So we're just going to get a couple, two, maybe three layers of epoxy resin soaking into these edges so that we can glue them in tomorrow all the rest of it we can um, just roll resin on in place and and seal the whole thing up that way so this mixing up this epoxy resin is going to be the first bit of resin that we've mixed up for this entire project so far how's our mix So today is the first day of glassing. Woo! Excited? Um, not really. Why not? Because <laughs> we love it. Because I've got dust falling on my head. This is what we live for. <laughs> okay, so this morning we are going to glass in these beams. So we've gone right back to the plywood here, as you can see, and unbelievably, there's no crack in the plywood. This beam that they made um, was cracked, so we had to get that out, um, but the uh, plywood was fine. So, we're gonna start building this back up. We've gotta come down here a little bit, glass it all in, and then we've gone back like half a meter with this taper here. We'll just try to get back to uh, the original um, thickness of the beam, but as you all know, now we're using epoxy, so a far better product. Okay, so the first four or five um, layers of laminate are a slightly different shape to the actual beam that we're making. So I want to get a solid um, bit of glass coming in here first. So what I like to do is uh, put a bit of plastic over it, clear plastic. I've already marked it with a pen on here. So get a bit of plastic, um, mark out where they're coming to, so one, two, three, four to there. Coming through here, we got the first one there, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And label this, uh, we're in the port cabin, and that's the forward side. So that's my template for cutting my glass. They're gonna be glassing this, which is the weak area. So that's why I just wanted to come down here a little bit bigger and just really strengthen this part and then we're running our big beam across it that we're going to make.
check out how this repair went. This beam. So you just gotta grab a corner. Careful not to tear it. It doesn't matter if you tear it, it's just you have to go back and pick at it. See it's starting to tear a little bit there. Once you get the whole side it's easy. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So just a reminder why we use peel ply guys. It's uh, the amine blush that forms forms on top of the peel ply. So when you pull the peel ply, this is a, a prepared surface. You can just glass straight on top of that. It's got the texture from the peel ply already in it and there's no amine blush on it. So really good stuff. It's a little bit expensive and sometimes it's difficult to apply. There we go. We'll just give this a little trim with the grinder, but now we can put the glass over the plywood that's going here, all the way tabbed into the deck here. This is the deck join, this is the deck to bulkhead join. Here as well, we're going glass up into the deck there, all the way along that beam. So it's gonna be a very, very, very strong repair, this one. So we're about to glue one of the bulkheads in. So we're using our epoxy and we're gonna put cover seal inside it to make a glue, like a paste and then um, put it down the hull and glue our piece in. It's a catch-22 because we want to do more so that we don't run out, but when you do more, there's more heat produced and it kicks off faster. So we're doing this in front of the air con, keeping it nice and cool. There's no uh, heat coming out of this yet. It's a huge mass of epoxy, so I don't want this to kick up on me. We're just making sure we mix it really, really, really good. Okay, can I get that uh, spatula back, please? There we go, not bad progress today, guys. We got both of the new bulkheads glued in place, and we did the two beams in the port side have it. So tomorrow we can work on the starboard side beams and think about gluing these bits of ply to make that sandwich structure. Coming together nicely. Morning guys, so whole kit is in. The epoxy is completely hard and super strong. This is gonna be so strong. We're over engineering this. I do not wanna to have to go through this again. I don't want to have to worry about it. So we're just gonna over engineer the shit out of it. This is how Lagoon told us to do it as well. Yeah, that is good.